Big things every day. So today I'm gonna be doing like a really good cooking demonstration. Uh, this one is one that I love to do. It's called uh, microwave leftover chicken. Pop that lid off. Throw it in the microwave for like I don't know. Wow. Now we wait. Mmm. Turned out great. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to thank all my ingredients, the gear is loaded. All the gear, that, the residual gear that stays in my truck and the fresh gear for this trip. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday evening. It is about 7.39 p.m. And uh, I am rolling. Rolling out on just a short one. I'm going to try to get to my spot to fish tonight. Although... I don't know, I might get a half hour before it gets dark. I'm gonna crash out, camp out, and then tomorrow I'm gonna get up early. I always say that, but I mean it this time. I'm gonna get up early, I'm gonna catch some, hopefully some big bass. I took all your guys' advice from the last video, I watched a bunch of YouTube stuff, and hopefully I'll find a, find a significantly better success rate this time out, checking, chasing small amounts. I'm not saying it's gonna happen for sure, but I'm gonna give it the best I got. Right now though, I gotta make a quick stop at the grocery store, pick up the essentials for a day and a half trip, which basically is gonna be drinks because I already ate dinner and I don't eat breakfast. And away we go. Alright, so I just got up here. Can't fit through there. So I guess this is where I park. The lake's right there, obviously. And uh, I'm gonna have to um, do some creative driving to get out of here. I'll definitely have to back down and try to knock off that ledge. But for now, I got like 15 minutes. No, 15 minutes or so, it's gonna be dark. So I'm gonna hurry and grab my rod and see if I can run up the hill and get a few good casts in before it gets dark, so let's go. Well, we did not, I say we, I did not actually get into the fish. They were rising all in front of me. Um, I had a few hit. I fished a brown tube jig and then a spinner. Um, I got hit a couple times on the spinner, but it was pretty dark. I didn't connect on anything, so I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and see if I can put the herd on something big. I'd like to get into these smallmouth a little bit, but such a novice that who knows if that'll happen or not. If I catch any at all, I'll feel pretty happy to be honest. I'm gonna go to bed early tonight, I'll try to get up early tomorrow, slam them. Stayed up too late. Taking night photography with this camera. This DSLR right here. And now, I'm probably gonna pay for it come morning. Cause right now it's uh, after midnight. It's 12.45 actually. But I'm gonna get up and fish no matter what. I love it, it's nice and cool out here. It's been so hot in my house this whole week. Like, brutal, unbelievably hot. Now, 
feels good. Feels good to finally crawl in here. Go to sleep, so we'll see you tomorrow. somewhat early today I'm not gonna say what time it is because you guys will laugh at what I think is early no it's about 6 a.m. and uh, I'm gonna start throwing something at these bass here I can already see I've got a handful of smallmouth right here in front of me as you guys know last time I was here in this exact same spot struck out on the bass because I had not yet read your YouTube comments and found out what to use and that's all gonna change today. I got a shopping bag <laughs> full of new bass stuff. Dropped 50 bucks, Sportsman's Warehouse. Today, we're getting into the bass. I'm gonna start off throwing just this round tube jig. There's a lot of crawdads in this lake. and I was throwing this last night, but I think it was a little, a little bit too dark for him. See if we can get some action on this thing. That'll work, right? How can it not work if I saw it on YouTube? This is stupid. I should stick to shed hunting. Fishing's too hard. Or at least the kind of fishing I want to do. Real tempted right now to just like throw on a treble hook. A little bit of power bait, worm, and uh, catch a hundred perch just to pad my ego so I feel a little bit better. Threw this thing for a while. Rigged a couple different ways. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. You guys, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. After like multiple trips out here, I actually caught a bass. I don't believe it, and it's a giant. So if I, if I hold it closely, it's about a 10 pounder. That bass is sitting right in front of me all morning when I finally put something in front of them that I wanted to eat. When you're targeting giants, that's the way it goes. I guess you could say I'm pretty much a legit bass fisherman now. Well, if I'm gonna not catch any fish, I'll go do it at the house. I uh, caught a couple little small mouse you guys saw, but I think I'm gonna call it, it's like 10. And uh, I got a lot of stuff to do today if I'm not gonna catch fish. So kind of frustrating, but it's also fun just to sit out here at the lake and do something relaxing. I have my phone on this whole time and I just kind of been doing what I want, so. I'm gonna go home, shoot my bow, get all my stuff together and get out of this pretty place. Tell my wife parked it because it's like weirdly in the middle of the driveway. So, time check, it's 5.14 a.m. Just kidding, I don't know exactly what time it is. I got up at five. You hear that rooster? That's what I deal with every single morning. So, I'm doing this thing. It's not that exciting, and you guys will probably wonder why I'm telling you about it. But I'm trying to get up at 5 a.m. The main reason I'm trying to do this is because every year, when it comes to be hunting season, 
I'm always wiped out the first few days when I have to get up at five and hike. And I'm gonna try to get in the habit of waking up earlier. And like right now, I woke up, I feel good, and I have just time to kill. So I'm just sitting here thinking of things that I have need I've needed to do for a long time and I've been putting off. So I'm gonna clean this truck out, it's filthy. Um, put everything away. Um, I'm also gonna go wash this thing because it's just like, I don't know if you guys have like pecan trees or trees that just like drop sap on your truck. It's really nice, it's like my favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna try to take care of those things this morning and maybe do whatever else, I don't know. It's good to be awake this early though, I like it. It's a beautiful time of day. I've been watching some YouTube videos about um, people saying they like change their life to start getting up early. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. I've never been that late of a sleeper anyway. You know, I always get up by like, uh, I'm like 8.30 at the latest, you know, but it feels good to be up. It feels good to be after it. So see if I can get some stuff done while I got time. Yeah, you're fine. I'm just talking to my camera here and you're trying to talk to me about potty training. All the stuff that matters, right? So I got done cleaning my truck, took care of it. Did a good, why am I so washed out? What is this not? Anyway, did a good deed today too. And every time, everybody knows that every time you do a good, good deed, the first thing you gotta do is brag about it on the internet. It's not a good deed if you don't tell everybody about it. So here's my good deed for the day. I went to the car wash to wash my truck and one of the vacuums, the, the money drawer on it was left open. So, oh nice, my door's locked. Anybody who wanted could have some free money. So, doing my good day, deed, I emptied it all out and gave it to the poor. Cause that's what you should do for people. Just kidding, I called the car wash and the guy came out and uh, I assume he came out and fixed it anyway. Now I'm gonna go shoot my bow. It's a beautiful day. The wind hasn't kicked up yet as it tends to do here in the afternoon. My nice interior decorating that I have going on here. That's a better view. So I'm gonna go shoot my Hoyt. See if I can get this slider dialed in because we do have the Total Archery Challenge coming up at Snowbird. And then I'm also going to the one in Bozeman, Montana and the one in Terry Peak, North Dakota. It's gonna be a blast. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, mine, yeah. <laughs> that too and away we go whoa good swinging though bud good swing buddy This is the joys of living in a small town, right here. Come here, you knothead. Easy. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Reunited with their good friends where I'm sure she doesn't want to be. Should probably just pull it right off the end of there again, now that I think about it. Maybe not. Joy's living in small town Laverkin. Get to chase some horses around every now and then. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing today is just shooting this puppy. I know that I got it somewhat, not very, but somewhat close. I got the target out there at 20 yards. And uh, I'm just actually gonna adjust using the Allens on my site until that actually is at 20 yards um, where it says it should be and then I'm going to uh, gap it out and see where it is and get it lined up at 60 and make sure that the gaps meet and it should put that one pin slider right on so I haven't shot this bow for a little while I'm excited to start working with it playing with it again I got 20 marked on there sitting pretty maybe that little line is 20 so now I'm gonna shoot 40 make sure I'm close and then I'm gonna go to uh, 60. And then I'm gonna mark, make a mark where 60 is. And then I'm gonna find the sight tape that lines up with those two lines and I'll be business.
tinkering with it for a minute. I just took two more shots, getting closer. We're raining her in. So the last couple were just high. Um, looks like these two are, I got one directly over the bullseye and one to the right of the bullseye. That's the last two shot at 60 yards. And yeah, obviously that's a dead elk either way. Not perfect, not where I wanna be, but uh, that's a pretty good starting point for knowing kind of where I'm at. I think I'm gonna just knock that maybe down a little bit more, try a couple more shots, and then I'm gonna put my side tape on. So those are my two lines, 20, 60. Not a very big gap on these bows, they're so flat shooting. This red works is so smooth, like it just, my arrow flight is amazing. I've had a lot of problems with arrow kicking in the past, but I got a combination of these gold tip kinetic 200s, which is a very, very stiff spine, but I shoot them so long because I have these gorilla arms. And uh, this has been the ticket. I mean, I was not getting any kick on these arrows today. They were just flying darts the whole way. So now I'm gonna see if I can find a sight tape. So when I bought this sight, Somebody had thrown all these sight tapes in the garbage and I snagged them. So uh, I'll just see if I can find one that has the proper gap. Actually, that one right there is gonna be very, very close. So let me see if I can see one that has the right gap on it. Got it, new sight tape is on. I'm gonna leave it set at 40 when I hunt and then um, I'll just know how to gap it depending on how to about 60 and then if it's longer than 60, I should have time to dial and adjust range. But RX1 looking good. Now I'm gonna go edit this video. Um, I'm also gonna try to shoot a video today. I don't know if you guys are interested in this or not. Let me know down below. I have a lot of questions. I get a lot of comments. People want to know how to start out filming their YouTube videos. Um, what cameras they need, what editing software. You're reading a book? Good. I'll be right back. I have a lot of people wanting to know what cameras they should buy, what kind of editing software to use, um, how to go about uploading them and things like that. So I'm gonna do a little tutorial um, today, later on probably, and that'll upload in the next few days here. But let me know if that's something if you're interested in seeing it. And also let me know any questions that you have for that video down below in the comments. But I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. I know I was all over the place in this thing, planned on going shed hunting and it didn't work out. But um, it's been fun making this video for you guys. So appreciate you following along. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. As that number gets closer to 10K, we're getting closer and closer to the giveaway, and it also makes it a lot easier for me to make a living. So if I can get to a million subscribers today, that'd be great. Thank you guys for the support, and we'll catch you on the next one.